No, I am not a relationship guru. No, I have not been in a marriage for over 20 plus years. And no, I don't have a man. And... Now I know what you're thinking. How on earth could she possibly tell men three things that he should look for in a woman? Well, I'm gonna tell you because number one, I am a woman. And because I'm a woman, I know women. Also, I have had three particular flaws that have indirectly affected all of my romantic relationships. Yeah. And lastly, I am a mother to a son. And although it will not be my ultimate decision as to who he decides to walk down that aisle with and procreate with and spend the rest of his life with, I would hope that I could be a positive influence in his decision making by being the example of these three traits. And hopefully these will be something that he looks for in his partner. Number one, you want a woman who is decisive. A decisive woman is self-assured. She doesn't second guess at every little thing. She has a clear path for her future, whether you're in it or not. And she's able to make good choices and sound decisions. You don't have to worry about if you are not there and she is faced with a consequence. And I'm not talking about physical danger, but I'm talking about something moral. You can have faith in your girl that she's gonna make the right decision. An indecisive person will let another person decide whether you are good enough for them. I remember when I was indecisive. I had gone through a traumatic experience and I had lost all confidence in myself. And I found myself calling friends and family for advice over and over and over again for some of the simplest things. At one particular point, I was dating a guy who was a loser. And I'm not saying that to be judgmental, but for all intents and purposes, this man is not good fit for anybody. And I was still giving him a chance. Not really sure why. Because I wasn't satisfied in any aspect of the relationship. And it literally took a 23 year old woman to paint the picture plain for me to see what it was that I was dealing with. And it's shameful. I'm, I'm ashamed to even admit it. But once she put it out there for me and I could see it for what it was clearly, I was ashamed that I had let that many days go by with this person disrespecting me. But I was indecisive at that point. And I honestly thought that's what I deserved. All right. Number two, a woman that has healed from her trauma. A woman whose actions are no longer controlled by their past experiences. This type of woman takes accountability for what she's done and doesn't blame her upbringing to justify her bullshit. A person who has unhealed trauma will do something and then when confronted about it, rather than accepting their role in the situation, they look for something that happened to them years ago to justify why they did what they did. So let me give you an example. For many, 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 many years, uh, I had abandonment issues. So whenever I felt disrespected 
or irritated or just no longer liking a person for whatever reason. Rather than talking the situation out, I would just block and delete them. I would just block and delete them because I figured they were on their way out anyway. Let me beat them to the punch, right? Abandonment issues. Crazy, right? Um, but it took me years and years and years to understand that I had this issue in the first place. And once I realized that I did have this trauma, I was able to work on it. Now, I know how to express myself like a grown woman. Let them know what my standards and expectations are in the situation, in the relationship. And this goes for all relationships. I'm able to do that now. If that person is unable to abide by my boundaries um, and give me, abide by my boundaries or um, accept my expectations and standards, um, after we've talked it out and discussed it, then I block and delete. <laughs> you know, I mean, I just, at least now I, I give the other person the opportunity to fix whatever the issue is rather than just cutting them off from the beginning. So basically you want a woman who can have a conversation, who's not afraid to tackle the tough issues, who's not afraid to compromise, you know? Um, you want somebody who was healed, somebody who was healed from their trauma, okay? That's number two. Number three, you want a woman that lives in reality, somebody who was right here in the matrix with you, okay? You don't want somebody that's over there in La La Land. You want somebody that is right here with you, okay? Do you know how frustrating it is to be looking at the same situation as somebody else and they see something totally, completely different? Now, everybody's entitled to their perspective, but a lot of times people would rather live in a fantasy than to accept logic and reasoning behind the situation. I think it's a, a protective measure, which also stems back from that unhealed trauma, but it can be very frustrating to deal with somebody day in and day out, especially sleeping with and laying with and contemplating a future with, and the way that they see things are completely different from you. Compatibility is key. I remember loving rom-coms, romantic comedies, and I always believed that if I left him, he would come running for me. You know how the girls always end up at the airport and then the guy comes and he's like, don't get on the plane, I love you, marry me. You know what? I believed that all the way up into probably the age of 35, 36, hell, maybe 37. I believe that I could act a fool. I could leave and that he will come running after me. And not only did that happen once, but two times I tested the theory. And guess what? He never came. <laughs> but guess what? I still believed in that. I still believed. Get you somebody that is here and in the now and can see things logically for what they are and act according to that. I like people with huge imaginations. My son has a huge imagination and I love that about him. But at some point, I'm going to expect for him to see life for what it is and to act accordingly to that. So, recap. Decisiveness, you want a woman that's self-assured, a woman that knows who she is, where she's going, what she's about. That way, you can be sure that you are exactly what she wants, right? If you're dealing with a woman that's wishy-washy, don't know where she, if she's coming or going, you can't possibly be sure if she even likes you like that. You want somebody who walks the walk as well as talks that talk, okay? A woman that is healed, number two, healed from her trauma. She's not living in the past. She's not living in uh, what her parents 
did to her or didn't do to her or I mean I literally I know women that are in their 60s that still are living in their past from the things that their parents did or didn't do and it's affecting their relationships to this day you don't want a woman like that if she hasn't taken the time to heal and do the work to be a better person it's gonna affect you. And I tell you what, the things that she thinks she's missing out on, she's gonna expect you to fulfill it. That's where that unhealed trauma is gonna indirectly affect you. I was that woman too. The things that I was missing, that abandonment, I expected any man that I got with to fill that void rather than working on me and, and, and me supplying all the things that I need through God, I expected him to do it. So when he didn't deliver, what do you think happened? All right. And number three, a woman that lives in reality. Now I'm not saying start dating a woman and be like, hey, what's your favorite movie? The notebook ain't your favorite. You ain't into them Disney fairy. Didn't. That's not a way to figure out <laughs> if she likes to, to live in a fantasy versus you just have, all you have to do is just watch your actions. That's it. Watch your actions. Watch your actions and see how she handles day-to-day -day situations. If she handles day-to-day -day situations with the mindset of this is what's happening and these are the solutions that I've come up with to try to fix it. If she's a type of person where she's got these situations and rather than dealing with them, she sweeps them under the rug and just hopes they go away. This is probably somebody that lives in fantasy land. Just saying, just an example. But at the end of the day, you take time to get to know a woman. You spend time with her. But conversation is key. Conversation is key. When you guys are talking about what's going on in life and your background and how you grew up and da 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 da, that's when you take the time to figure out. Okay, okay, okay. I see this happening. I see you grow up here. You grew up like that. Da da da. How do you deal with that now? What type of relationships do you have right now? Who's your best friend? Do you believe in God? Why or why not? Who is your higher power? How do you handle stress? For my son, I want a woman who knows how to handle stress. Because guess what? Men aren't perfect. And it's our job to be a helpmate to the man, right? So you want a woman who has all of these three characteristics so that she can come in and make whatever you got going on that much stronger and tighter. God never told Adam, I made you a wife. Even though when he created Adam, the spirit of Eve was inside of him. Shit. The number one reason why you don't know if he's the one is because you don't know your value. Shy. And you have never invested in yourself to know your worth. Wow. Not this fake worth that everybody just says, I am a queen, I am a this. Everybody mm -hmm. can say that. Doesn't mean anything. Do you truly carry those values? Yeah, do, you really, do you really carry that worth? Are you that virtuous woman? Hmm. Are you that virtuous woman? Come Are on. you that virtuous woman that everybody is searching for? Come on. Let me tell you a secret about men. Have you ever noticed this? The most Attractive men don't marry the most beautiful women. You're wondering, why have they settled like, I'm, I'm sure, what did they see in her? What do you see in her? What you don't know is man looks for value. Yes. Let me tell you, sex, man can get sex anywhere. anywhere. You can pay for sex with prostitute. Come on. Not the right thing, but sex is available everywhere. Yes. But a man who is thinking about the future does not look for what you think they're looking for. Yes, come on. Wow. Yes, come on. You wonder, ah, why is somebody so good looking? Why would they do that? Why would they play themselves like that? Oof, yeah. I'm the one. Mm. But you're wondering with all your beauty, every person that comes lives. You choose wrong people because there's still something wrong in you. So you cannot tell that it's bad until you outgrow it. Until it mirrors back to you, then you realize, I don't like this thing. <laughs> you outgrow it, then you switch up. You choose the wrong person because there is still error inside of you. 
The prince loved Cinderella not because she was be beautiful, only because she could fit in a royal slipper. Ish. Can you fit in the place that God wants you to sit? Is it possible for you to be in the place that God wants you to be? But you choose the wrong thing because you have the wrong pair of glasses on. You have the wrong perception of who you are. So you don't know your value and whom you can be next to. I'm not yes. talking about, oh, I, 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 should, I deserve this. No, you don't deserve anything until you're worth it. Mm. Come on. People always love that line. I, I, I deserve happiness. I deserve. Can you make somebody happy for you to deserve it? Chai. Because if you go into a situation and you don't plant happiness, you will not reap happiness. Yeah. The problem that we have, my daughters, and I want you to pay attention to this. You go into relationships incomplete. And you expect a man to complete you. A man completes you in purpose, hmm. but does not complete you in being. Come on. If you are unhappy, if you are not a happy person, nobody will ever make you happy. Come on. A man will only enhance your happiness. Come on. They will never make you happy if you are not naturally already a happy person. Hmm. And with that, I rest my case. Are you with me in the comments if you want to? <laughs> Thanks for watching.